Hello, uh, this is gate question 1990 related to analog electronics. Um, topic is operational amplifier. So, let's see the question. The common mode rejection ratio of a differential amplifier as shown in figure. Uh, so, this is an operational amplifier. So, these are the two inputs. One is inverting input V1 and non-inverting input is V2. So, the operational amplifier is connected in feedback loop. So, these are the different resistors. So, here from the given problem, find out the CMRR. There are four options. A is infinity, B is 0, C is 900 and D is 1800. Okay. So, in a, in a given problem, the operational amplifier we are considering as a ideal case. So, in a given problem it is not mentioned. So, we can treat it as it is a ideal operational amplifier. So, ideal operational amplifier is having a characteristics. Uh, the gain of the open loop gain of the operational amplifier is infinity. So, because of that we have a virtual ground concept existing. So, the voltage at this node A is equal to voltage at this node. So, in the earlier videos you know what is the virtual ground concept. So, at this node A voltage potential is equal to this potential. Okay. So, let us see the solution. Common mode rejection ratio, there is a formula, there is it's a ratio of differential gain to the common mode gain. So, AD is differential gain and AC is common mode gain. Okay. So, their general equation to find out the voltage, the output voltage of the operational amplifier differential depends on differential voltage and common mode voltage. So, it is having a common mode gain and differential gain. So, the important uh, definition of operational amplifier is amplifies the difference between the two signals and nullifies the common signals between the two in, uh, at the input side. Okay. So, common mode means to suppress the noise signal. So, it eliminates the noise at the input side and it differs the amplified signal at the output. So, that is the reason the output gain depends on these two voltages, common mode voltage and differential voltage. So, the differential voltage Vd is equal to V1 minus V2. The common mode voltage is V1 plus V2 by 2. So, from this equation we can write like this V1 is equal to Vc plus Vd by 2 and V2 is equal to Vc minus Vd by 2. So, in a given problem in terms of V1, V2 are giving. So, like that you can write the equation. So, now apply KCL at node A and node B. So, to get a uh, common mode rejection ratio. Okay, in terms of AD and AC, we have to calculate it. So, for that, uh, KCL at node A. So, this is node A. So, this is not node equation. This is V2 minus VA. At this node voltage is VA by 1 plus VA by 100 equal to 0. So, from this, you will get this equation. VA is equal to 101 by V2. So, the node at B, the KCL equation you are considering here. So, that is V1, VA minus V1 by 1 and VA minus V0 by 90. So, from this equation, so we will get it 91 VA is equal to V0 plus 90 V1. This is equation number 2. So, from this KCL at node A is this equation we got it and KCL at node B we got this equation. Okay, in terms of V1 and V2, you can substitute here. So, finally, you will get this equation. So, substitute this 4 in 5 in 4, you will get this equation. So, finally, the output voltage, we can take it in this, substitute in this equation, V0 equal to VD AD plus VC AC. So, finally, the equation becomes like this. Okay. So, from this, you can compare with this equation, what is AD is nothing but uh, the AD is nothing but minus 9095 by 101. What is AD and what is AC? AC is a common mode gain. So, common mode gain is this and differential voltage gain is this. So, from the definition of CMRR, we can say that it is a modulus value of differential voltage gain by common mode voltage gain. So, the definition of common mode voltage gain, so that AD value is this and AC value is this, you can substitute in this value. So, always we will get a AD is minus 
it is a 90 degrees, uh, 180 degrees out of phase. So, CMRR is a modulus value, you can substitute the AD and AC, approximately it is uh, 909.5, that is approximately 900. So, the right option for this problem is 900 CMRR. So, there is no units, that is the ratio of gain, so there is no units, that is approximately it is a 900. So, the right answer for this question is C. C is the right answer. Thank you.